Hey guys, Mr. Mice is here with the video 1-1B calculator review. Uh, this is the second video for the first lesson in Essentials of Calculus. So I'm going to be using a TI Inspire. If you're using a TI-84 in your class, uh, sorry, <laughs> but my class we use a TI Inspire. So this one will focus on a TI Inspire. If you are in my class, we've are, I've already done some summer assignment videos on this, so um, this is a bit review for you. But we're going to look at a few things here. First, we're going to look at a window to show the graph of this first function. So let's take a look at some of these examples. Um, so in IT and Spy here, I'm going to hit, oops, I'm going to hit a new document. If I can do that here. New document. No, we'll go graphs. Hopefully you can see this. It's not really as... Let me try something here. All right, I just made this slightly bigger here. So we're going to go ahead and enter this uh, function into my calculator. So negative x cubed. I got to use a little caret here for x cubed. All right, and we'll put the rest of it in. And I get something like this when I put it in there. And notice I know I put that, I forgot that negative 0.2 before I paused it. And then now I put it back in here. But notice this is a cubic. And a cubic we would expect to go like this, right? Because it's a cubic with a negative. So the end behavior, if you remember from pre-calculus, it would tell us it goes like this. So we're not seeing the, the entire graph. Excuse me. Now in a uh, TI Inspire, it's kind of cool. You can hold on to it here and you can move this guy around. Um, oh, look, we see some more. So if we move it over a little bit, we see some more of the graph. Now we're going to want to see the bottom here. So let's go and change the window settings. So we're going to hit menu, window zoom, and window settings. And we're going to need to go, the X min looks about right because I moved it over. Let's go negative 12 so we can have some even numbers here. Um, we'll go positive 10. And our Y min, I'm not quite sure how far we're going to need to go. Let's try, let's try negative 50. That might be enough. Negative 50. Oops. Got my negative. Negative 50. And my Y max, I really don't need much because I already see the top there. So we'll just go to 10. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, that looks good. We got pretty much everything that we need there, right? So uh, let's go ahead and write. We're basically going to take this. Oops, I just moved this over. We're basically going to take this picture and put it onto our uh, document here. So let's go back over here. And I'm going to take that picture and just draw it right here. So... Kind of look like this. That's a little bit more than I think it was here. Like that. And this was at, I think we did positive 10, negative 50, um, positive 10 here, and negative 20 here. And so we're going to describe the scale. And my scale that I used was negative 20 to 10 in the x direction by negative 50 to 10 in the y-axis. Now suppose I want to find the zeros of that function. Okay, so what I'm going to do to find the zeros, I'm going to use a nifty thing called zeros in my calculator. Now I've got one, two, three zeros here. So I'm going to hit menu, analyze graph. Everything I really want to do is going to be an analyzed graph. So here it is, the first one says zero. Now here's kind of nifty, it gives you this little slide bar. It says lower bound. What it's basically saying is, hey, tell me a number really, really close to my zero that's just less than that. So I'm going to start with this zero over here. I'm just going to go to the left a little bit, click the enter or the toolbar, and I'm going to start sliding it over using my touchpad, and it pops up. There it is, negative 10.8. Now, um, I must have made a mistake because that's not the right. Oh, I did make a mistake right here that should be an x all right so i'm just gonna i'm gonna move this down a little bit more it looks like i'm gonna need to have gone to negative 55 so let me change my settings real quick 
Let's go ahead and change these settings to negative. Let's go negative 20 to 10 to negative 60. And let's go to 10 here. All right, that's a little bit better. Um, so let me go and change those on, on this. Um, what did we do here? We changed it to negative 20 to 10, and we changed this to negative 60. All right, sorry about that. I forgot the X. I always forget the X. Okay, so we're going to go and do my analyze graph, find the zero, do it again to the left, like Beyonce to the left, to the left. Um, negative 11.65. Now, in, in our class, in calculus, we want to make sure we have everything with three decimal places, three decimal, three numbers after the decimal place, right? So three decimal places after a decimal. This is not, so we're going to make sure it is. So do that in the TI Inspire. We're going to hit Menu, Settings, and we're going to change my settings. Right now, it's at Float 5. I'm going to make sure I get them all. I'm going to get Float 7. And hit, uh, I'll just hit make default to make sure I get it. And there we go. We've got negative 11.64986. So the answer here, we're going we're gonna to go ahead and put negative 11.65 because we're going to go round up. So negative 11, x equals negative 11.650. Or I could have truncated 11.649 would have also worked. All right, there are two more we need. So let's go ahead and find those two guys. And we're going to do menu, win, uh, analyze graph, zero. This is, these are little guys here. I could zoom in if I wanted to, but I'm sure I can, I can figure these guys out without needing to zoom in. I'm just going to move this around. It's kind of nifty. We can do that in the Inspire. Move our zeros around. So I can see them better. Okay, so we've got negative 0 0.406 and 1.056. So I'll go and write those down in my answer. X equals negative 0 0.406. And negative, I'm sorry, positive 1.50. Oops, man, I can't do anything right today. Okay, so there are my three zeros. The other thing we might want to do is find points of intersection in the calculator. So let's go and find points of intersection. Um, we're going to first write the equation I'm solving. So I'm going to, ha I'm going to solve this. x cubed plus 12x squared minus 9x minus 3 equals. Now I want to solve this for y. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 3x and subtract 5 over, then divide by negative. So I'm going to actually set these equal to each other. So I'm going to graph this in my first function, this in my second function, and then use the intersection tool to find the equation to find those intersection points. So I am just going to make a new page with a new graph. And I am going to first put this first one in. So negative x cubed. Negative x cubed plus 12x squared plus 9x minus 3. Well, um, that's not quite a cubic. I wonder if I move this around. Oh, look, there it is. Um, let's change the window here. It looks like I'm going to need to go up more in my y max. Um, so let's change this to let's change this to 40 and see what happens. That's still not enough. Let me drag it, see what it's going to be. Woo, it's way up here. All right, so go back down here. And you let me change my window settings. That's way up there. So I'm going to change this to, um, geez, let's change this to, negative x cubed plus 12x squared plus 9x minus 3. All right, let's we'll do 100 and see what happens. 
um, menu, graph entry. So let's add another function here. And we're going to add in uh, 3x plus 5. All right, well, there's the line. So I don't actually have to go way up here because I'm only looking for this intersection, this intersection, and this intersection. So this is going to be a good enough um, screen for me to figure it out. So let's go ahead and figure out these intersections. We're going to do menu, analyze graph. Look at that, intersection. Now, guess what, folks? This does the same thing. This is the same thing as the last one, zero. We're just going to take the slider tool, put it to the left of the intersection, click it, and go right over it, and we get our intersection. Boom, right there. There's our first one. All right, let's find all three of them. Analyze graph, intersection, to the left, to the left, and then we slide it over. Menu, I should make a song. To the left, to the left. Already been done, my Estes. Okay. And then we've got our three points of intersection. So we're going to go and draw, put those on our document over here. So we found the points of intersection to be negative 1.046 and 1.861. 0.615. And 6.845 and 12.430 and 42.292. Okay. All right. So the last one here we're going to do is we're going to use a calculator to solve this function. Now, if you're using TI Inspire CAS, it has a solve feature in it. But if we're using a, a regular TI Inspire, even an 84, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to graph this graph this and find where they intersect and just look to see where's this graph above four. So let's go and do that in our calculator. So I'm going to add a new page, gonna add a graph here and right in this little, right next to the book, if we click on that, we're going to have an absolute value. So we're just going to click the absolute value and put in X squared minus five hit enter we got that nice pink looking graph I'm gonna move it over a bit here that's nice and pink isn't it my daughter would love it all right we're gonna add another function here y equals 4 because that's why now notice here we've got one two three four intersections where's the graph greater than 4 well it's gonna be over here in between here and over here so we need to find those intersections. So let's go and find those intersections. Menu, analyze graph, intersection, think, think, there. Menu, analyze graph, intersection, think, think, right there. Menu, analyze graph, intersection, think, think, and menu, analyze graph, intersection dink dink all right dink 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 we've got all these numbers now we're really just looking at the x values because we're solving this equation so solving the equation we're solving for x so what for what x values is the is the graph going to be above four above four up here right so it's going to be above four from negative 3 less than that, so all these x values, between negative 1 and 1, and all the values that are greater than 3. Okay, so if we're looking at that picture, and we're going to write these out, we're going to say that the we can have x values that are less than or equal to negative 3. We can have values that are between 1 and negative 1, or we can have values that are greater than three. Those x values would give us, okay, will give us the answer for this. So we're gonna also write this in interval notation. So negative one to one. And three to infinity. All right, so this would be the answer for that inequality. All right, there you go, guys. Just some review on some of our basic calculator functions that we need for calculus. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.